works by seven black artists converge at the Strand Center for the Arts in Plattsburgh. And they diverge in their subject matter, medium, and approach. The exhibit celebrates different artistic voices and viewpoints within a community. It's very diverse, despite us all coming from African-American descent. The beauty about it is the individuality within our own artistry and our skills and what people take from what they're seeing. Education coordinator Winosha Steele of the Strand Center for the Arts curated the exhibit. Steele is a painter herself and contributed many works to the show. She invited other artists from the state of New York and Vermont to display their works, people she met during her educational and vocational journey through the arts. Their paintings, sculptures, and mixed media works comprise an exhibit titled Eloquent Visions, honoring the rich tapestry of black artistry. It's really beautiful and I don't think it's anything Plattsburgh has seen before outside of the people that have seen my work since I'm a local here. So I just really wanted to put on display the beauty within the people of my culture. Some of the pieces tackle difficult subject matter. Some deal with history, identity, and self-reflection. Steele displays a series of self-portraits in the exhibit. So the brushstrokes in this piece represent how I feel as an artist. Sometimes I feel like I self-sabotage myself. Oftentimes I feel like people view my work and me as a narcissist because I predominantly produce self-portraits. However, I've been trying to not think about that too much because I know what I want my pieces to say, especially within the eyes, because I really wanted this piece to resonate with people as they feel that strong emotion and think about what they feel when they experience it. Butterflies really resonate with people, especially monarchs, because they represent um, change, elevation, evolution within yourself. That's why monarchs are represented in my piece. Dee Wolf has also used and incorporated butterflies into her pieces. Dee and I, we do work similarly as we both work with self-portraits and really looking within ourselves and ourselves as an artist and putting our vulnerability on display through text and representation. So the butterflies are like a personification of our soul and the growth that we've encountered throughout our career. Artist Thomas Green of Brooklyn owns the tattoo studio Major Inc. Northern New York in Plattsburgh. He submitted freestyle abstract works, including this colorful piece. I call it the abstract lifestyle because uh, I live an abstract lifestyle. I'm a tattoo artist. Um, I've traveled and done tattoos. I kind of don't live in the usual societal kind of lifestyle, you know what I mean? I make money off my art every day. That's how, that's how I eat. So uh, I, just, I think it coincides with me. I mean, it's crazy. It's uh, a lot of, my life has been kind of a maze. So I feel like it's a lot of crazy stuff going on there and it's maze and that's what I get from it. This is by my friend, uh, Joel Teneo. Um, did a bunch of sculpture faces. Um, I got a lot of different emotions from all of them. This is my favorite one. Uh, I spoke to him about it. Um, it speaks to me because uh, he's from the Bronx, I'm from Brooklyn. Um, it gives me a city feel of like the urban metal rust decay look, you know what I mean? And that's like a big city thing. It's a lot of metal, a lot of concrete. I also like the expression of it, how the mouth is like really open and the head is open. And you know, it reminds me of like, you know, a person who uh, overthinks everything like me and thinks a lot, you know what I mean? So it gives me a lot of uh, emotion, but this is definitely my favorite piece out of uh, his pieces. Steele says she hopes the well-attended show will inspire admiration and conversation among viewers in the North Country. 
In my opinion, I feel like the Norse country and Plattsburgh is predominantly white. And I think when they see people of our race, they're unsure about how to ask certain things or um, just go about learning more, knowing more within an appropriate context. So I think this show kind of puts it right in their face. So then it, it gives them no excuse but to ask. And even if they're afraid to ask the artists the questions that they want to, they're able to ask people that they know or people that know the artists in order to answer the questions that they're looking for. And it'll easily help them be able to comprehend more. You have until Saturday, March 23rd, to experience the exhibit Eloquent Visions, honoring the rich tapestry of black artistry at the Strand Center for the Arts in Plattsburgh. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.